Hey guys, how's it going this morning? It is a beautiful morning this morning. Uh, this is Will here. Um, last night, man, we had a spectacular live webinar hosted by Lisa Torres and Nicole Mazur on Nicole's tips and secrets on how she gained leads using Instagram. It was an awesome webinar. I mean, the value of information that was given for free, if you missed it, you will resent it. But fortunately, you don't have to because I posted the replay in this I posted the link to the replay in this post. But uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because there were questions in the comments. Um, there are there's some people that are not really smartphone or tablet savvy, and I know a lot of people that still use the uh, how shall I say the old style phones with you just dial out you know there's no you know internet access and all the Instagram and Facebook and all those apps um, and also you know uh, Instagram for some reason does not allow you to upload photos into your PC uh, from the, the actual site, um, it was really basically designed as a tablet smartphone app where you can take pictures with your phone or your tablet and just upload them straight to Instagram. Um, but some people, you know, uh, aren't really that, you know, like I said, technical, technically savvy with those things and don't know how to save or uh, copy or uh, upload on to social media sites using their tablets or smartphones. Um, so there were questions on how you could do it from your PC. Uh, there is a way and there is an app for PC and Mac uh, as well. Um, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. So what you want to want to do is you're going to go to a website, grambler.com, G R A M B L R.com, and it is a, it's an actual upload app. It's not a site; it's an actual upload app uh, that you can download for PC and Mac, and they have the instructions here uh, where you can download them for Windows and for Mac. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on, depending on your operating system, the download button, which is going to prompt you to download a zip file, uh, the Grambler zip file. Now, if you if you don't know what a zip file is, it's a, it's a compressed file that you have to extract using certain software like WinZip or uh, FileZip. Uh, I personally use uh, an extractor called Unpacker. Um, but you can use any one of those softwares. You can look them up. You can Google them uh, and download that software. You know, some have free trials. Some are actually free um, that you can use. I personally, like I said, I personally use Unpacker. So when it prompts you, it's going to be somewhere. It's going to notify you that the file was downloaded. You're going to click on that file. It's either going to be on the bottom or it's going to be up at the top, wherever your uh, download indicator is. Then you're going to click on that indicator, open that file, and it's going to ask you if you want to open it with a, uh, a an extractor program. Uh, you're going to extract it, whatever software program you use as a zip file extractor, uh, and you're going to go basically on PC. Those files usually save into your download file. So I'm going to go here to my downloads. I already unzipped it with my unpacker. And you're going to click on the zip file. Now, if you unzipped it right, if you unpacked it right, you'll see this file, the grambler-installer.exe, the execution file to install the app on your PC. So you're going to click on that. I already installed it, so I'm not going to click on it. But you're going to go through the motions of, of how to install the app, you know, the, the installer wizard. Uh, so you just go through those motions. After you install it, it'll open up for you. Now this is what the icon looks like uh, after you install the app. So I'm going to open that up. 
first. Let me open up my Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Come on, buddy. You're moving slow. Okay, now this is my Instagram. So I'm going to go here. New profile. Okay. Now this is my profile. All right, and this is all the pictures I've uploaded on my profile. As you can see, this is the last picture I uploaded. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Grambler. The Grambler icon app. Open that up. Now, when you open up the Grambler app, what you're going to do is you're going to enter the same username and password that you use for your Instagram because that's what you're uploading it to. Okay. Now, when you upload, as you, uh, so most people know when you upload to Instagram uh, from your phone or your tablet, it usually asks you to crop the picture because it wants it at a certain, uh, you know, a certain pixels, uh, like right here, it needs to be at least, it has to be 650 by 650 pixels. So what I do is, depending on the picture I want to upload, if I want to resize that picture, okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the picture I want to upload, let's see, the picture, pick a picture, okay. Uh, I'll just pick this one just just for the heck of it. And I usually open with right click and go to open with and paint to resize. So I go to paint, click on resize. Now you want to go to the pixels. Now usually if this is checked off, when you change either the horizontal or the vertical, um, whichever one you change, it, the other one is going to automatically change with it. Uh, Depending, but if you want specific horizontal or you want specific vertical, you you take you X that check off and you put in what you want for the horizontal, you put in what you want for the vertical, click OK, and then save the picture. All right, and then close that out. Close that out. Bring my app back up. Choose the file I want to upload. Pictures. Okay. Seven of the. All right. And upload the picture after you choose the file. Put your caption in, whatever you want to put in. Seven logical sayings or whatever. All right. Put in your hashtags. It says logical thinking. Uh, logic, succeed, whatever. Up to you can put in up to thirty hashtags, and then you save your caption. Okay, and then it, it gives you a direct link to that picture, web link, HTML code. You can also share it to Facebook and Twitter. Now, to show you that it uploaded, let's go to my Instagram page. Uh, it won't automatically show the upload, so so you have to refresh the page so you can see that upload. Okay, and there it is again. As you can see, I had one already, and I just uploaded another one. So that's how you can upload from your PC uh, without having to use your smartphone or tablet to upload to Instagram. Okay, so. Now, we're using the techniques that uh, Nicole Mazur had explained, the techniques that she used, and by using your smartphone, your tablet, and now your PC 
to upload to Instagram, you should be able to crush it now. And I thank Lisa, I thank Nicole for giving us that information, uh, handing out her tips to us for free. Um, you guys are awesome. And with that said, make it a great day.